Hello, my name's Joglot2882 and I'm here to help you with some controls during the battles. These controls have helped me to spank my mate a lot and I want to pass the information on. You may already know a lot of this. If you don't, there might be something useful in here. If there is, please like. Anyway, so starting off, what you can do is if I press the home key, it will select my lord. Okay, if I want to put my lord in a group, I can press G. That's one way of doing it. And I can press G again to take him out of group. Or I could hold Control 1. That's another one. I think, or Control 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 0, which is 10. Okay, take him out of group. Uh, it's G again. Okay, so if I want to select all my people at one time, I hold Control and I press A. And it was selected. If I just want to select missile units, I press Control M. And that's select only my missile units. If I just want to select all the people with swords and I the inventory people, I press Control plus I. And that selects my lord and anyone who's going to run around and smack people. Um, dwarfs can't have horses. If they did, which there'd be ponies, I suppose, um, Control C selects your horse units. Okay? I, there's nothing to select your grudge thrower, your artillery. Um, I'm afraid it doesn't come under missiles, um, as you can see. Okay, uh, next thing is, so if I click on, I left click on this guy here, and I hold the shift key, and it would literally grab anything that I, I want, so if I want, say to there, it would grab them all, and then I can press G, or I can, of course, control 1 to 0, which is 0 being 10, okay, so we take them out of group, or I could click on him, and say I want this one, and that one, I could hold the control key down, click there, click there, and also I want this one. So I've then set to them. Or, you must all know this, but still, I can click here, hold the shift key, I would like these two. Tip, release the shift key, press the control key, and I'd like him. And then I press control 1 or G again. And then, um, yeah. So, it's, so you can, this is it's useful if you've got, what sometimes happens is you get more people coming. Um, you might have three squads coming in, or, or three people. Like you've got your main 20 and another 20 are coming in or more whatever's coming in and you just you have to do it so fast because my friend will often try and work out where my people are coming from and he'll charge over there and get them like i have to quickly sort them out in orders and um, it, do, it does it does save time and it does help okay, my dog's nudging my leg i need to let her out in a second okay so we're going to uh, get rid of them, get rid of them. So what I do, I tend to, I click on him, click to there, that's control one, missile units control two, artillery control three. And then you can right click around once you've got them selected, so I've got group one selected, just right click around, and they go wherever. I can hold the right key down and drag it, and drag it to the right, and it'll make them as thin as possible, which I often like doing. And I'll do the same with my missile units. They go behind, and then my artillery behind them, which I like it to look pretty. It annoys me when it's not pretty. It annoys me. That'll do. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. If I then want to move all my units, say, say I do the box, so I'll grab them all. You don't have to grab them like that. Maybe you can grab them with Control plus A, click to all. Okay, so I've grabbed them all. I hold the Alt key down. I have to select an actual unit, so I hold the left key down on one while my Alt key's down. So Alt's down, hold the left key, and I can move them around. I can move them there. there. Or even there. It's, it's crazy what you can do. <laughs> anyway, so also, if I hold the Alt key down, hold the Control key down as well. See this little rotate thing that comes up in the arrow? So I can then. Oh no, they're behind me, quickly. Turn around, sort of thing. Um, so let's, turn it, let's, let's put them back. That'll do. So you can also, you, you know, I'm moving around, and all of a sudden I think, oh, actually, I need to quickly do it. I can then press Control, and it, it will then do your stuff. Also, while doing this, you can use the WASD to move around, which is, you know, very helpful. Um, we've done that. What else is there? Ah, yes. Right, so then you've got the um, the arrow, the main arrow keys. If I hold 
uh, back one does this, I hold it forward, it does that, if I hold it right, it does that, a bit slower, but it's, it's, it can change, you know, if you just got to do something quickly, it's, 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 it's okay, it's fine, um, if I hold the control key down, and press the right arrow key, I rotate, like so, a bit slow again, but, okay, so if you press control, and the down arrow key, it will bring your people close together and then eventually into backwards lines. And then again, if you push control plus the arrow key up, it will put them back. So that's that. Uh, let's make these nice. We'll put them, let's give them a bit of a heal bonus. So the next thing is... Um, if I, I don't have to click on the grudge flower, but, but you can see the range of it by down here. You can, you can see them. So it's going to, um, they're most really firing, yep. Which sometimes works, like so. <laughs> okay. Um, I could just sit here and do the artillery because for some reason they're not bothering with their artillery. They've got artillery back there. Um, but that'd be boring, wouldn't it? So what I could do now is, if I press the one key, set all these. What I tend, to, if I right-click once, so I right-click there, right, they will slowly walk there. If I double right-click, they will run. Hold them. So what a single, the same thing. If I click on them once, they will slowly walk there, and if I double-click on them, they will run to them. But of course, I don't want to. I don't really want to run the whole way there because they'd be knackered by the time you get there. So what I tend to do is I tend to click past them. Some people click on them. What happens if you click on them? They will converge to one spot, which I don't think is good. So I, I, I just click past them. And then even if some are way out here, out of the way, it's fine because um, I, can, I, I can then bring them in and flank the, the sides. There's shortcut keys. Like if you press the R key, that's it fast for I'm um, running. To say it all saves time. Backspace, I think halts. Yep. Yeah. You'll find a lot of time you have to halt with your um your missile units purely because it's just faster than setting them up again. Of course, say someone's going to come past here, they're not going to fire. So you just halt them and then they just save time. Um, you've got your toggle fire at will, which is always handy. At the moment, I haven't selected a target for my um, grudge thrower, my artillery, but he's in fire at will. If I turn it off, he won't fire at all. But if I've got someone selected, then I, and I have, um, and then I turn off fire at will, he will still fire, and it can, of course, you hit your own troops. Um, also, if I click on my missile unit, you've got a skirmish mode here. If I click that on, if they're left alone and some, if if they're left alone and I don't know, um, another unit starts charging them. They will always try and stay out of the range, hence being skirmish. Well, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Um, if it has, please give it a like. If you do like my sexy voice and my bad video editing, please also subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some campaigns. I've been doing them lately. Um, I'm actually going to video them now because I feel that I've got good enough at this game to do it. Alright, cheers, thank you, bye bye.